So hi guys, um, thought I'd do Scarlet Monastery today and thought I'd film it, so I'm a um, DPS warrior. So I always find this place quite awesome and slightly claustrophobic. Um, it's the first time I actually run Scarlet Monastery on this character, so it should be quite fun I guess. Being level wise, we should be okay. I kind of expect to get some, you know, good stuff from here, hopefully. Which would be awesome. I'm with some people in my guild, which is nap time. And, uh, yeah, well, three people and one person who isn't. So that's cool. It's like a proper guild thing. <laughs> Fingers crossed this is actually recording. I won't be doing too much talking during this, but um Can't beat a bit of S and M. Good old Scarlet Monastery. So at my level, I've just got Whirlwind. Um, so that's some um, brand new ability, and so far I really like it. Um, so this it does weapon damage for up to four pe people around you. So that's quite cool. Yeah. In a Whirlwind of Steel, you attack up to four enemies within eight yards, causing weapon damage to each enemy. And it takes 25 Rage. So that's really not too bad. I've also got my... Um, Unupgraded cleave, which I can still kind of use. And uh, just to let you know, guys, I'm a um, Fury Warrior. And I'm loving being Fury, to be honest. Uh, I mean, everyone says that ARMS is awesome, but to be honest, I kind of think that Fury's better. I mean, I haven't really used ARMS uh, particularly much, well, that much in Classic, but um, it sort of seems like all the um, weapons are so specialised. Oh, sorry, guys. Hello? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, sounds perfect, actually. Uh, well, um, currently I'm um, sort of working on my YouTube channel on a few personal things, but, um, well, nothing particularly much, so I'm, I'm sort of looking for a role at the moment. I'm not, no. Yeah. Um, well, I've been working on my YouTube channel quite a bit. And um, a few personal projects, such as, um, you know, sort of developing um, a website and um, a few other things. So, uh, I, I guess just a um, few bits and bobs, really. Uh, it's um, it's um, sort of about gaming and, um, I, I guess, some sort of, I don't know, sort of social media news and, and that sort of thing, really. Uh, my um, contract ended, basically. Um, I took a bit of a break and um, spent a bit of time in Spain. Um, but, um, yeah, I've mostly been um, sort of um, looking for work over that time, yeah.
Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have, yeah. Um, I mean, it was mostly at some um, ISAT, so um, I would, um, you know, obviously initiate the campaign and, you know, do all the tracking and everything else for it and all the stats and things. Um, I do, yeah. I've used that quite a lot. Oh, um, I sat, and I, I suppose personally I've used it a lot too. Um, but I, I, I suppose, sorry, mostly it's um, I sat. Uh, I have, yeah, I've used them too. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yep, absolutely. I'm all up to date on that kind of stuff, so, um, you know, it's good to stay up to date, I guess. Uh, well, previous year was on um, 28 and a half, so um, I suppose about the 25 to 30 mark, roughly. Uh, yeah, around about that. Sure, it's GU14. 7JA. Um, normally say public transport. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, the Red Hill train, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, it's not too bad to Guildford. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, there's pretty good transport links around there. Um, well, immediate re immediately, really. Um, I, I should be available next week, actually. Uh, I've got nothing booked up at the moment, no. Um, I think it's, um, a chap called Gregory G., um, I, I think if you um, just phone up um, the the company in London, that should be fine. You know, they'll just put you through to HR and, you know, they should be able to um, get a re reference from there. Uh, he was the, um, I, I think he's actually senior HR. Hi. Oh, that was, yeah. So that was under some MRM McCann. Uh, yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't. Mm hmm Brilliant, thanks. I'll, uh... mm -hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll get that done. And that's to my um, david at dwbeck.com email address. Perfect, thank you. Brilliant, thank you very much. Brilliant, you too. Okay, right, um, bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was just on the phone with, um, with a job, so uh, I'm currently unemployed and looking for a job, so seems like I got a good job in Guildford, actually. You never know. Could be the one. To be honest, I've never really worked in Guildford before, but um, Guildford's quite nice, so I think it'd be a nice place to go to. And I'm actually kind of used to going to work on the train, because that's what I did previously. Um, so, yeah, previously sort of worked at um, Microsoft in Reading, um, and completely loved the job, but uh, I don't know. I, uh, Obviously, the sort of contract came to an end, like I said, so, you know, that was unfortunate, but, uh, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, <laughs> I do apologise about that, guys. Um, but yeah, um, this, this instance is going pretty well. I'm kind of glad I could actually run out of here, you know, without too much problem. I'm also transferring a load of files off my hard drive, so um, I should have plenty of memory to actually record this. <laughs> Get it uploaded. Otherwise, nobody will ever see it, right? Did you know I had another video which um, which I um, released about Scarlet Monastery a while ago? And, you know, really, um, it was different from this, but um, yeah, it, it did really well, actually. So. You know, fingers crossed, people quite like watching these instances and stuff. You know, this is um, quite a good one, actually. I haven't actually done any raids, really, with my guild, so this is um, pretty fun. I don't think anybody wants a crate. There's nothing in it. I'm having a real hard time generating any kind of rage in here. You know, um, one of the things I really want to do is... Um, oh, look! I can actually um, improve Berserker Rage would actually help me generate a bit more rage. Okay, this is messy. Oh my goodness, he's going through there. No, I can't wait till I'm level 14 and get to use plate and stuff. Maybe buy a mount. Pretty sweet. I've got to earn some more money first. How much gold do I have? 21. But I've got a lot of um, money invested in the um, auction house, I guess, guys. So, uh, I don't know. Probably got about 35 gold in total, I'd imagine. But 
Not loads. And you know, I was so insecure about this run. I actually went out and just bought some fireproof trousers. Um, so fire main leggings. 19 strength, 15 stam, 10 fire resistance. So, uh, I don't know. I was insecure. I haven't done a raid for a while. Well, this isn't even a raid. It's just a bloody, you know, normal sort of group. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go to, um, I think I'm going to put, um, improved Berserker Rage. What do you think? Maybe improve Flurry. Or again, if I'm using Cleave a lot, I wonder if I should go improve Cleave. reason I'm kind of having a bit of trouble targeting people. Look, I've got a skull too. I could put a skull on him if I want to. <laughs> Ooh, nice sword. Yeah, so I'm going to go um, improve Berserker Rage. Oh, I did it. Because here's the thing, okay? I've got my Blood Rage, right? 60 second cooldown. And um, that obviously gives me 10 Rage at the cost of health and generates an extra 10 Rage over time. Um, and that's cool. But it's kind of like my Berserker Rage has got a 30 second cooldown. So it's sort of like this is sort of like a mini... Uh, Okay, we need to get back so he comes to us. Yeah, I'm on. Awesome. That's some good pulling. Remember, I'm not actually tanking this thing, so I'm just... So I'm just for DPS here. I doubt anyone's got a DPS meter, but I, I'm probably doing all right damage, I guess. I mean, we're still alive, and that's like 90% of everything. <clears throat> so here's the thing, what I really want this to do, uh, the Berserker Age, is to um, give me 10 Rage so we can actually use an Intercept on people. Because, um, you know, that kind of means... To... I've got to stop using that, oh my goodness. Oh dear. I thought I'd just pull everyone to me and we can kind of, um, you know, because they were kind of going everywhere. Oh, my dog's barking at something. Probably someone's dragging a bin around. <laughs> is I hardly ever use cleave but maybe I should start using it more <coughs> Jet stop it Trying to walk up the wall. Huh. 
that you have a nice drink, Mr. Shaman. Of course, I can generate a lot more rage if people are actually attacking me. You know, I hardly ever use um, demoralizing shout, but maybe I should. I'm sort of thinking, you know, it just probably makes it, um, reduces the enemy damage a bit. So, yeah, reduce melee attack by 73. Might as well use it, right? <laughs> You know, the good thing about just being DPS is hopefully my repair bill won't be quite so big. Although I do feel a bit guilty if I wasn't on the phone. Mind you, I had to be on the phone, really, but if I wasn't on the phone, you you guys can tell me because I don't really know. Maybe I could have actually um, prevented the group from wiping. I mean, I know I kind of ran away, but... I don't know, I, I try my best, I guess. I think we can do it now anyway. So, um, I was thinking, guys, one of the things I really want to do is get plus um, 8% speed on my boots. That seems like a pretty sweet enchant, and um, apparently the um, mats only cost 4 or 5 gold, so um, yeah, that's um, something you probably look into, but you know, just 8% extra speed or whatever would actually just make all the difference. You know, honestly, I've never really had much um, use for Sonderama, you know. Um, I mean, it's not really normally part of my rotation. Like, stop her! It's a problem with this place. I don't want to um, use hamstring routinely, but... Um, Yeah, my my button on my mouse doesn't actually automatically select the nearest enemy anymore. So I'll, I'll have to fix that later, I guess. Again, I like my flurry here, but to be honest, with my um, slower weapon, um, flurry doesn't always sort of get me all the way through. But I think if I took a few more talents in flurry, which I will, you know, at some point, it'll um, probably get me a lot further.
Oh, look, fireworks. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, what's it going to do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Should have been messing around with the fireworks, but I had no idea you could take the um, fireworks. That's kind of cool. So, when I first got Slam, okay, as a warrior, so uh, what Slam basically does is um, it um, has about one, one and a half second cooldown and it slams your... Um... Ah, shoot. I didn't pull them, I swear. Anyway, yeah, um, so... Because I'm talking about Slam, yeah. So I can slam my opponent. It takes about one and a half seconds to do this, but it's a great way of burning a load of rage really quickly. If I had improved slam, obviously I could um, do a lot more damage in even shorter periods of time, but... Anyway, that's kind of what it seems to be for, you know, so... If your rage meter is completely full up and you want to burn it all as quickly as possible, just slam the enemy like so. You need it about five or six times if you have a full rage meter. That yeah, works. Gosh. Head doing over there. Yeah, it's really going to be so much easier when I get my second improved Berserker Rage. And, you know, I don't actually see myself ever leaving Berserker Sands. I mean, um, I hear a lot of the um, top guilds actually have um, their, um, even their tanks sort of in Berserker, which increases damage taken by 10%, but they can do a heck of a lot more damage. And obviously that's instead of a sort of a shield on the one hand. But apparently that method requires a lot of healing. Because um, in total, because you get plus 10%, um, damage taken by 10% reduced, um, you're effectively um, taking 20% more damage than you would be. If you're in Berserker, that is. Yeah, we're doing quite well. I think this is the final boss room, guys.
That's another thing I've got to sort out. I don't actually have a ranged weapon on me at the moment. So, yeah, really need a little gun or something just to pull enemies. I'll have to get one of them, I guess. I used to have um, some throwing weapons, but I kind of threw them all. <laughs> Must not use whirlwind unless there's more than like two enemies. And I tell you what, it's a good time for me to um sort of take a bite to eat. Actually get my nice buff back. Do you know the um stamina and spirit buff does actually make a big difference? Um I mean that plus eight really does help with a bit of healing, you know. Oh my god, this is kind of a funny boss. I think loads of people sort of run in at the end. So, uh, it should be fun. <laughs> Nothing else I can do to buff up, I don't think. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. I'll get behind him. still think I do bonus damage if I go behind the dude. In this game, anyway. Rat. I was just thinking I should have got some bandages. Oh wait, I do have bandages. I don't even need bandages. Is that all? Now I can use my bandages. There we go. God, I'm surprised he doesn't get dizzy. <laughs> There's one thing, one thing I really want to try, but he's pretty much dead now. plate, so I kind of need that. Four, four, three, six, now I'll greed that. I'll need that, and what's this, mail? Um, one, nine, six. Shoulders. Mm. Oh Christ, I better need that too. Ah.
Hey guys, what do you think about more runs? Now that I've moved all the files off my um, hard drive um, to my other hard drive, I think I need to buy another hard drive, guys. Seriously, I've um, got about two gigabytes full up, I guess. Um, or is it two terabytes? Yeah, sorry, I think I've got two terabytes full up now, guys. So uh, I should either delete a load of the old stuff I've done or just... Uh, maybe I'll just delete it. Saves money, right? <laughs> Well, that was a fun run. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. Although, to be honest, I didn't get very much experience, um, surprisingly. Maybe it's because the enemies were a bit low level, but... Okay, so I went at one level, but I was pretty much fair anyway. That kind of sucked. Yeah, so we got one six nine there. So, usually, if I'm in rested bonus, I'll get about 420. Why well, it seems to be 420, I don't know why. I guess the developers had something on the brain, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I suppose I'll get about half of that. About 210, normally. So, um, yeah, I guess the experience isn't too bad. Considering we're kind of killing a higher volume of um, guys. Oh gosh. Guys, what are you doing? Have these guys respawned? I mean, I guess they must have, right? God, you would have thought Blizzard would have actually fixed that. Well, I guess we kick their asses, I guess. Oh no, there's all these respawns. Never mind, we'll get through it. With the power of friendship. <laughs> The other thing is, um, obviously the um, sort of loot you're going to get from the bosses is much better than the loot you get out in the world. So if I had got those shoulders, they would have actually, you know, significantly made me stronger. And uh, yeah, some of my armor's a few levels below par, but um, like I say, I've been saving my money um, a bit. Oops. I've been saving my money for it because obviously I'm going to have to get a mount soon, which I'm kind of looking forward to, but on the other hand, it's a lot of money. For a sort of peasant like me, I guess. to get out of here before they stop 
coming back. I should have loads of cloth. Yeah. I usually like selling these bandages, but I guess I can use them. Oh my goodness. Let's run out. Run away. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. So hey guys, um, I guess we're doing another run in Scarlet Monastery, um, so stay tuned, um, hope you enjoyed the first run, um, do apologise again for the, do apologise again for the, um, telephone call, but, um, I had to take it really. These guys seem even lower level. Nobody does for graveyard. <laughs> yeah, so as you guys may have noticed, we're on a um We're not on a PvP server, so um like not everyone is automatically um gonna attack us. You know, which it's kind of good in a way, kind of not good in a way, because um, there's a lot less PvP on this type of server, um, which kind of sucks. But on the other hand, it's, I don't know, you still play the game and it's still kind of fun. So, I mean, I personally like, you know, PvP, but I, I guess um, I can kind of wait till Battlegrounds come out to get a lot of PvP and, you know. And the other thing is, I think a lot of people who don't like PvP will come here. Um, but to be honest, it's faster to level here because, you know, you probably die less. As soon as you guys can see, I'm just permanently in Berserker these days because um, I really like Berserker. Um, one of the things I like about it is it's kind of like um, build your own class almost, okay? Because look at all of these, there's so many different possibilities um, for talent wise. So, and I'm probably going to get most of these anyway. But still, you know, the areas I focus on is sort of, um, you know, what's actually going to sort of. Well, what my character gets to do, you know. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted today. Ooh, scroll of strength too. I don't want one of these. I don't know if it can stack with my um, normal buffs. That's a powerful uh, hit. So, um, in retail, actually, um, I've also got a warrior, and I'm I'm absolutely still in love with Execute because if you're um, 
trying to um, take someone down in PvP, execute is just excellent. You know, just for doing that final bit of damage and finishing him off. But, you know, you can also kind of um, inflate your score a little bit by um, just getting in the final blow. I'm just going to stay well in here. Oh, this is the dude with the dogs, and you get the dog whistle, and the dog whistle. Oh, look, guys, I don't even have a trinket. If he drops that dog whistle, I'm totally going to need it. Because, to be honest, I would love to be able to um, summon some dogs when I need them. That'd be amazing. If that's even the one that I'm thinking it is. Oh, I think it is. Just saying if the dog whistle drops everyone need because that's fair really yeah in retail there's loads of trinkets obviously but um there's so much rarer around here Seven six. I'm just gonna go greed. Sorry, I got distracted there. Fingers crossed for the dog whistle, guys. Greeting. <sighs> okay, I better greed. What's this though? Two one six. Damn spirit. Oh, better greed. Mine's better. I got the dog whistles, guys. I might actually use one on the boss. Maybe. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought it was a permanent trinket that I could use infinitely. But, um, looks like dog whistles are... I better put it down so I don't use it accidentally. Um, looks like, yeah, there's only three charges. That's cool, though. Hey, 
Maybe I will use it with the boss or just before the boss. What do you guys think? How much I sell for? Ah, oh, so bound anyway. Oh, it's not worth fendering it. Not ready yet. I'm just going to heal him. Oh gosh. I think I need to renew my uh, my food. Uh. Oh, drat. You know, I could actually, if I had an anvil here, I could actually make some keys. There isn't a hidden thing in here, is there? Or is that the other room? Ah, such a shame about that chest. Never mind. I bet there's something amazing in there. Alas, it will remain a mystery forever. Poor warlock over there. It's really taking a beating. You know, the key binding thing is driving me mad, actually. Um, key binding. Okay. So, what do we want? Um. Targeting. Target nearest enemy. E. Ah, brilliant.
He's so shiny. Oh, so he's got wind fury on his on his thing. I like it's Bonnie Prince Alduin. <laughs> Slash random peasant boy. <laughs> With massive feet. <laughs> Armor drops today. You get used to retail when you come here, and it's like, oh, okay. So actually, blues are actually kind of rare. <laughs> Um, the other thing is, I suppose retail, they don't just rely on random luck. I mean, to a certain extent, some of the um, weapons you can kind of earn. So you're kind of guaranteed to get a weapon after so much time. Which is kind of good, but I don't know. Something a bit fun about random luck, you know? Like, I think a lot of people just like random luck, you know? Hear you, crams, crams indeed, crams, crams, crams. I mean, I... Don't hurt our poor warlock, he's so delicate. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> oh my God, you even lost. Where the heck have I gone? Oh. Tell you what, this instance is kind of tiring, guys. Honestly, I'm just gonna stick um, hamstring on everyone because they just keep running off. Don't you die, little people? You just die nicely.
Warlock, stop it. <laughs> I will heal you. Nice health potion there. It's probably be it for me guys after this. I don't know if I can handle much more of this. Probably could, but... Hamstring these nasty people. Finally, I think we're at the boss. Yawn. Ugh. I'm going to put some nice sunder armor on this boss. Get out for him when he does the sea. Why, of course. <laughs> the CD. You will not defile these mysteries. Burn in righteous fire. Run away. Yeah, I'm totally going to heal myself. easy. Oh, one-handed dagger, freaking hell. It's nice for one-handed damage. Increased damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by nine. Okay, so it's not really for me, I guess. Oh, I guess I'll just go... Agreed. <gasps> oh, I won the freaking dagger. Nice. Even though it's kind of got like... Why is he jumping up there? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, the dagger wasn't that good because it kind of had...
I'll see what's inside. Oh! Sick! A key! Cool, so we've got an SM key. Awesome, guys. Alright, so everyone's porting out. Thanks for the runs. I'm just going to leave a party, see. See, why wait my why waste my beautiful hearthstone when I can just um get the game to teleport me out automatically? I smile at Turtle. Turtle likes it. <laughs> Who's a good turtle? Who you're a good turtle? Yeah, yeah, I got. Okay, guys, I guess I'm all done here. Hoorah! That was freaking awesome.